Hello. In my last video, I said I'd show you how to change the slider feature in the Corporate Clean Drupal theme. So, I want to do this in, short, in a short enough time to fit it on YouTube. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to get stuck in straight away. We'll, we'll follow my script and then hopefully we'll do everything just as we need to in a short time. Right. Drupal Corporate Theme Slider Feature. A very quick guide to adding your own words and images. Let's do this together. First, we need to change the images. So we need to open your themes folder, open the mockup folder, open slides 1jpg, so slide1.jpg, slide2.jpg and slide3.jpg. Then we can either edit these images or we can make our own. Uh, this, we've got to make them the same size and save them with the same names and extensions so we'll end up still having slide1.jpg uh, slide2.jpg and slide-3.jpg when we've done that we need to optimize the images for the web using save for web um, it, it, in photoshop there's a button called save for web um, in PaintShop Pro you've got a, a similar button. If you use GIMP or Free Image Editor that's also got a, a Save for Web feature. In, in GIMP you need to add a plugin to make it work but that's what you want to do. Right, then we want to put the new images that we've made back in the mockup folder replacing the original images. So let's do that. These are the new ones that I've made. These, these are what I already had inside the folder. Right, when you go to your Drupal installation inside your uh, web space, you'll see all these files and folders. You want to look inside Sites, All, Themes, Corporate Clean, which is the one we're going to use, and then you want to look in the mockup folder. So here's the, the images we've got there. Now I've already made some images to replace the original ones. These are what are already in there to start with. And I've made these. So slide1.jpg, slide-2.jpg and slide-3.jpg. I need to copy these and then go back to my Drupal mockup folder. Th this is the uh, the, the folder in my um, theme and it's already got this one, two and three but if I paste in my new images oh, I'll copy them over <laughs> click the copy button copy, now we should be okay now we paste them we want we want to replace these, uh, my new ones want to replace the old ones, so click replace and there we go, the my new images are in there. We'll just have a quick look at the site and see if it's changed, nah, can't just yet, yeah, I'll, I'll do that in a minute. Um, go back to my script and see where we're getting on. I'm trying to do this as quick as I can because I've done it before and it wouldn't fit on YouTube so I've got to go through as fast as I can. Right, now we need to replace the words we see in the slider. So, open your home page of your Drupal site that's using the corporate clean theme. If you have disabled the slider feature, go to appearance and click settings uh, for the corporate clean theme. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and enable the front page slideshow. We'll do that first then I'll be able to show you the, um, the new images that I've, I've put in. So we want to go to appearance, this is the theme we're using called corporate clean, click settings, scroll to the bottom of the page and here we have front page slideshow. So click the button that enables it, click save configuration and we'll have a look at the after, oh there we go, and there's our images these are the images that I've made, so it swapped them automatically, which is convenient for us. Go back to my script. Right.
right. Now, from the web page, copy the text you want to change. We want to change some text in the slider feature. Then, we need to open the Corporate Clean Theme folder, find the page.tpl.php file. Now, we need to open this using a text editor. Don't use Microsoft Word, it won't work. So, you can do it with Notepad. Notepad is not a good product for doing this with. Um, if you try using Notepad, you'll find out why. But, but you can do it with Notepad, it's just, it looks a mess, and you, you'll probably think, oh no, I don't, I don't want to do this. So, there's a free editor for Windows called Notepad++, um, and it's a lot better, a lot easier to use than Notepad. I don't have the time at the moment to show you that. Uh, I'm not using Windows, uh, so I can't actually show you it. Um, and we're trying to get through as fast as we can. So, you can do this using Notepad. If you use Notepad++, it'll be much easier. So, what do we do? Place the cursor inside the document, then hold Control button at the bottom left of your keyboard and press F key. When you've got Notepad or Notepad++ open, if you press the Control button, hold the Control button on your keyboard, and then press F, it'll bring up a search box. So, in the search box, search for... Uh, in the search box... In the search for box, in the box that opens up the search for box, paste the text you copied from your web page. Right. Then, when you find the text, replace it with your own words. Do this for all the words you want to change in the sliders. Make sure you save the file that you've edited. That's page, template, PHP. We'll just go and do that straight away, because we're up against the clock here. Right, what we want to do, we want to change this sample product name. So, copy. The sliders will keep rolling by, so you'll have to do it reasonably quickly. So we've copied sample product name. Now we go to our text editor. Um, now we've not opened that, so we're going to have to go. We're going to go to the theme. This is our sites, uh, our Drupal folder. We need to open up the, I'll do that more slowly, and then you get a better idea. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm rushing because I'm trying to make it so that it'll fit on um, YouTube. Right, so start in your, if you connect with FTP to your server, you'll see all these files and folders. Open the sites folder. This one's called themes, you don't want that one. You want to open the sites folder. All themes corporate clean and now look for page.tpl.php we open this with a text editor and now what we want to do is find some text this is the find box I click control F open this box paste in the, in the words that I, I want to change then just click find found those words there. All we want to do is change it for the new words we want to put in. So, highlight these words. Make sure you don't highlight any of the computer code, just highlight the words. Paste your new words in. I'm going to show you what this bit of code here means in a, uh, at the end of this video. Um, excuse me. <coughs> and basically it's a special character. Um, and I'll, I'll explain that at the end of the video. Right, so we go back, save that, make sure we save it. Go back to our page, reload the page and see if it, there we go, Philips Radio Shop. Now underneath we've got this general. Copy that. Go back to our uh, text editor, excuse me again. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. Now, we can see it just underneath there, it says general. Now, if you're using Notepad, it's such a mess, you, you'll need to search again. So, search for general. Fine, it's found it there. And I want to paste, paste in some new text. I like that. Paste your text in. Click save. Now, Back to our 
our web page click the refresh button and here we go we've got Philips Radio Shop and the, that was general it said there general before we've changed it now to superb sound fabulous looks oh we'll go back to that it's going to keep moving like this you can set it so it'll stop but um, because of the, the limited amount of time I can't do that right so underneath oh, you've got some that says client name there so we'll save we'll copy that and we'll find that so first control find the client name and there it is it's found it for us so we just change that to <laughs> if we wanted to it could be fresh couldn't it um, click save again and let's see if it's worked refresh the page there we go it's Fred now this lorem ipsum text is just placeholder text so let's copy some of that go back to our uh, text file we're looking for lorem ipsum and there it is so in there we could place our own text just Let's save it and see if it's, uh, if it's changed it for us. Refresh the page. You see, put text here. You put your text there. Now, um, it, it really is that simple. We'll go back to our script. We've got a bit left to do, and we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to miss anything out. Right. So. Right. Right. One thing you want to remember is when you save this file, this um, page dot uh, what is called now at page dot tpl dot php. When you save it, make sure you don't save it as a dot txt file. If you're using Notepad, another problem with Notepad, it tries to save things as txt file, which means text instead of PHP which is um, it's, it's a PHP is a programming language so make sure you has saved it as a PHP extension not TXT reload your web page you should the, see the changes have taken effect now some things that might go wrong right number one problem you're likely to encounter is you didn't refresh the web page so that you're looking at an old web page you have to press the refresh button or reload the page in your in your browser before you can see the effects second problem you saved it in the wrong folder make sure that you save it back into the folder that it came from if you put it in the wrong folder it obviously won't be able to show you the effects another problem you might have deleted some computer code if you've done that just start again or you used a special character such as an apostrophe in your code if you use a HTML special character you must replace this with the correct computer code search online for more information I've only got one minute left before YouTube says I can't put this on so uh, if you want to find more search for HTML special characters online now I'll have to leave it there because I'm really cutting it tight before um, YouTube says the video is too long well thanks for watching I do hope you pop back bye